Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Will Patson, and I'm here in Denver, Colorado. I'm having a great time in the US, but today I'm going to be giving you a short video because I've got a lot of things that I need to do, but there has been something that you have been asking for whilst I've been here. That is, how do you make brushes on Procreate? So sit back and relax. I'm going to show you exactly how you can make your own custom brush in Procreate for you to sell on your website, on Squarespace, or wherever. This video is sponsored by Dev Mountain. So the first thing you need to realize about Procreate is that they've got a bunch of presets already there for you to use. I rarely ever create my own brush source. Now brush source, I mean by the actual source of the brush, so the image that you use. You can create one yourself and bring one into Procreate, but you don't need to. You can simply check the Pro Library out or use other people's ones. So when you want to create a brush, press that new brush button at the top, or you can duplicate one of the old brushes if you were taking inspiration from it. I'm going to duplicate an old brush. Once you've duplicated your own brush, you might want to change the name of it so you can get back to it later on. So go click at the top of the brush and you'll be able to change the name to whatever you want to. And also when you export this, the name will stay the same. So on the first panel, you see the stroke value there. Now this is where we want to leave. We want to go to the last panel, which is the general source page. Now when you're on the source page, you want to go and swap out your actual source image of the brush from the pro library one. I'm going to choose one that's called the oval brush. This one's great for brush calligraphy because it's got the sort of the end of the nib that you need for brush calligraphy in itself. And I'm going to go and try and create more of like a Crayola type one or a very thick brush that will work really well. The next thing that you might want to change is the grain source. Now the grain is the sort of texture inside of the brush. Now the shape source actually has some texture in it too, but the grain source has got more. It shows you the grain of which it's been painted on with, and you can change this to be really clean or not so clean at all. I'm going to choose a canvas one and see how that goes, but you can experiment with these all you like. Now your brush might be starting to act a bit weird in here, so we need to actually change a couple settings for it to work correctly. So go to shape, and in there you want to turn off randomize, and then turn off azimuth. All this does is that azimuth chooses the angle of the actual brush to the angle of the pen that you're using. So like if you're using it at a certain angle, the brush angle will change too, which makes it a bunch easier for brush lettering. But if you're still having trouble with the actual brush angle, then you need to go and switch the actual angle off the shape brush in the source section. And you do that by using two fingers and just turning it around. Next, we're going to go to grain and we're going to choose the scale to be very small because the actual grain inside of a, like, what is it, a Crayola pen isn't actually very noticeable unless you want it to be. But this is a great place to start off and just to test it all out. I also change the movement and I bring that down a little bit so we can get a bit of streaking and blurring going on inside of the texture. Make sure that you turn off filtered as well so you get the proper texture in the brush. The next thing we're going to change is in the first section of the brush panel, which is streamlined. Now, a lot of people in Procreate like to streamline which basically allows you to have more of a natural flow on the iPad which it actually smooths out the brush strokes that you're working on and you can choose this from 0 to 100 I like to bring it up to about 60 just because my hands can get a bit slidey on the iPad Pro. Now depending on the way that you like a brush pen if you like really large contrast or stark contrast within your brush pens and you like the thins and the thicks then you may want to change the brush settings so that the smallest point is is really small and the largest point is really large. But if you want to choose a standard Crayola marker or a normal brush pen like a felt tip Tombow brush pen, then you want to actually make these subtle changes in between them. So the actual minimum scale should be larger than you think and the larger scale should be smaller than you think. So go to the general settings and go down to the size limits and play around with those size limits until you get the desirable one. Now I work on an A4 piece of paper as my canvas size just so I can print it off if I need to. So make sure that you choose the canvas size that works for you the best. But I use mine as A4, 600 DPI, just so that I can get the highest resolution possible. And there you go, you have your new brush for you to use and to sell and to do whatever you want to do with. Now the trick is, is getting the brush that works right for you. But if you can't be bothered to do any of these steps, then you can visit my website and get some really cheap brushes for Procreate. They're in a new download and I update the website quite often with new ones. So go and check them out if you want to. This video has been sponsored by Dev Mountain. Dev Mountain is a 12 week UX design course intended to get you a job in the industry. Dev Mountain is an amazing place for you to go and learn about UX 
design. And if you don't trust me, go and click that link down below and see what they do. It is incredible. If you're interested, go ahead and check them out and see what they do. But also remember guys to subscribe to this channel. It is completely free. You do not need to worry about paying to be on the channel. You can be part of the family. But guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. See you soon.